our world is rife with mysteries and enigmas. Through the years, a myriad of wondrous events have occurred and thousands of amazing discoveries have been made. We can never be quite sure what lies beyond the horizon. Between archaeological wonders and the rapid development of technology, there is an unbound potential for our future. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at recent discoveries. The Mystery of the Billy Apes Over a century ago, Belgian colonizers found a large primate skull during their rampage in the northern Congo. The locals would tell them stories of mysterious large apes that would attack and eat lions. Gorillas were never before found in this region of northern Congo, so researchers and explorers were confused and intrigued. They believed it to be an entirely new species of ape, although they never found any additional evidence or proof of life. The skull was promptly left to collect dust in the Royal Museum for Central Africa in Belgium until the 1990s, when Karl Amann read about them in a scientific article. He was a Swiss-born photographer and devoted conservationist. Enraptured by the skull's puzzle, he set off on an adventure through the dense jungles that few had traversed before. The Biliuli Tropical Forest covers 12,000 square miles and is a mix of impenetrable canopy and large stretches of savanna. The researchers had to trek through an impenetrable underbrush full of ants, mosquitoes and bees that were drawn to their sweat. Despite being such a difficult undertaking, a man ended up repeatedly visiting the forest over the span of 10 years, with various rangers, camera crew and primatologists trying to find the elusive Billy Apes. On his first trip, he found another ape skull, which only increased his obsession. In 2004, American primatologist Cleve Hicks joined the search. He spent weeks traversing through the forest, trying to find the apes. He and his team set up motion-detecting cameras and eventually captured images of the elusive billy apes. As it turns out, they were not a new species. They were chimpanzees. However, they were unlike any chimpanzees the researchers had seen before. They had larger skulls and feet than other chimpanzees. Their behavior was unique in that they nested on the ground like gorillas instead of in the canopy. They also used the longest tools researchers had seen in Africa to collect ants and honey. On one expedition, researchers came across a chimpanzee eating a leopard, although they did not know whether the chimp had attacked it or not. The locals called them lion destroyers and explained that even their poison darts would not affect the apes. Hicks stated that they were the largest population of wild chimpanzees anywhere in the world. He claimed that they were curious of the humans rather than fearful, which led him to believe that they had never seen humans before. Those that lived closer to civilization would flee when approached, but the apes further in would gather close to observe before quietly leaving. Since they lived in such remote parts of the jungle, it was near impossible for poachers or any other humans to encounter them. Today, though, the forest is a hiding spot for many fugitives or rebel groups and is being turned into farmland. A Gogwe Cryptid this bizarre creature has allegedly been found in both Tanzania and Mozambique, a small human-like creature that wanders through the jungles with no definitive proof it is even really there. In appearance, the Agogwe has been described as reaching an estimated four feet in height and bearing a brown or ginger-coloured hair that covers the entire body. Another distinctive feature of this elusive creature is one long big toe. Whilst this mysterious creature sounds more animalistic than anything else so far, the Agogwe walks on two hind legs, just like humans, and has even been known to negotiate with tribes living within the areas. One notable sighting of the Agogwe was published in 1937 by Captain William Hitchens, who witnessed the hairy men walk in the 1920s. The captain had been sent on a lion hunt, he was waiting in a forest clearing when two Agogwis moved from one dense area of jungle through a clearing before disappearing on the other side. 
Captain William Hitchens described russet hair and the expected four feet height. Feeling both fear and amazement upon seeing these creatures, the captain aimed to follow and find the Agogwi, but to no avail. Hitchens explains the rationalizing he underwent, pinning them down as no ordinary monkeys, being ape-like yet distinctly different than any known ape. Another sighting occurred in 1927 by Cuthbert Burgoyne, who also claimed to have encountered this animal we know very little about. He and his wife were sailing by Portuguese East Africa. As they approached the shore, the couple could see baboons searching for food. As they observed, the strange creatures approached the group. Burgoyne explicitly explained that the creatures more closely resembled furry men than the baboons nearby to them. When recounting the story to a friend, he said that they had a similar experience. When the big game hunter friend of Burgoyne's readied himself, loud protests from the natives forbade him shooting this creature. Whilst theories surrounding the Agogwe have been limited, it has been established that these animals are distinct from both monkeys and mankind. Despite this certainty, very little more can be said. At the moment, the Agogwe is considered to be similar to the Kakandari. Both of these cryptids have been suggested to be a surviving Graysal Australopithecine, an early hominid, with a literal translation to a southern ape. These early humans were present in Africa, from the latter end of the Pliocene era, and towards the beginning of the early Pleistocene era. Whilst we can draw links and hazard guesses, with so few examples and sightings, it is difficult to make further estimates as to exactly what the Agogwe are. The Necropolis of the Monkey God Located in the forests of Honduras was an ancient city long forgotten and buried beneath the dense jungle of the region. Discovered back in 2015, Douglas Preston and his team uncovered the lost city of the Monkey God and went throughout the entire region in an attempt to understand the ancient culture, discover new mythologies and make discoveries never before theorized about the region. Interestingly enough, upon flying over the region and spotting this ancient city, they appeared to have found evidence of a large opening in the ground that could have led to an underground city known as a necropolis in the region. Douglas Preston explains in his published book on the discovery that in order to reach the area, a team would need a helicopter to hover over the location as the team descended down into the large opening, a feat dangerous to accomplish that many archaeologists are not trained to do. While efforts were originally made to explore this locked ancient vault, the team soon realized they contracted a parasite that would bind to the mucous membrane of the individual and slowly eat away at their face. This led to the site being quickly abandoned along with any future efforts at uncovering the secrets of the region. To this day, it appears no one is brave enough to confirm the sighting and reach this ancient underground city unknown by researchers of the modern day. Solomon Islands Dragon Snake The Solomon Islands are rumoured to be home to the dragon snake, a flying creature similar to a dragon that allegedly spits fire. The dragon snake is thought to be found largely in coastal or mountainous areas of the Solomon Islands, as this is where the majority of sightings have occurred. This nocturnal creature has a rather poor reputation amongst us humans, as it is known for its hostility and has been determined to be the cause of any missing person cases and even some loss of life. It is a common idea that pterosaur cryptids are less than pleasant towards humans, a trend the dragon snake seemingly intends to keep. Often seen as a light source or a silhouette, the dragon snake is said to be bioluminescent, much like a jellyfish, in order to attract prey such as fish and other sea creatures. The other physical attributes of the dragon snake include a human-like body, but with a generic shape that mimics that of a stingray, reaching 60 feet in diameter. A long tail is often shown to have a shape at the end, usually alternating between a triangular or diamond shape. With piercing red eyes and a green and brown scaly skin, the dragon snake certainly does not appear to resemble any life we can currently confirm exists. The most distinctive feature, and perhaps the most terrifying, however, 
is the dragon snake's ability to breathe fire. Accounts describe a fireball being shot, burning items upon impact. Accompanied by the silent nature of the beast, it certainly sounds difficult to escape this creature. The initial sighting of the dragon snake has been recounted in Gerard de Jode's 1593 atlas entitled Speculum Orbis Terrae, meaning Mirror of the World. More recent sightings have been reported by Western travelers too. One fisherman allegedly saw the dragon snake flying overhead and made the ill-advised choice to point a torch at it, eliciting an angry response from the strange beast. The odd creature followed the fisherman to shore and supposedly aimed their fiery weapons towards the poor man. It has been claimed that the scorched and damaged paint seen on the interior of the boat is evidence of this chase. The dragon snake was said to then linger whilst the man hid before eventually leaving. Another encounter of the dragon snake has been reported by Marius Borovon, a former RAAF engineer. When Borovon and his friends were fishing, they saw a bright light, which they likened to a star. This light allegedly went underwater and emerged stronger, continuing to move over the sky until it was no longer visible over the trees. Within the span of seven months, Borovon's group of adventurers saw the dragon snake 60 times. Borovon described the beast as a Star Trek warrior-type reptilian half-human man. Throughout the centuries, many people have proposed alternative explanations to explain this unusual creature. Some believe alien activity is the true cause of the lights frequently visible from the island. Intermittent lights could show possible alien bases on Earth. Marias Borovon himself suggested that his group saw an alien UFO, though information was scarcely available online surrounding cryptids in 2003, when Borovon created his website, which may have influenced his conclusions. Others believe this creature was created due to the high levels of seismic activity on the Solomon Islands, and others refute this, claiming that a monster created by a geological feature would appear on the ground, not in the sky. Those less inclined to believe the supernatural argue that possible hidden military action or other human activity is the root of this wonder, while skeptics claim this is a hoax or hallucination. So it appears the mystery beast may not be so easily explained after all. From the theories of possible other causes to the abductions it should be responsible for, the dragon snake could continue to hide in the jungle forever. Oldest DNA from Africa offers clues to mysterious ancient culture. Some things that can leave clues to the past are much smaller than artifacts. In fact, one of the most informative relics is DNA. And as one of the oldest cemeteries in the world, having existed for 15,000 years, the Glo de Pigeon Cemetery in Morocco stands to hold quite a bit of information about the past in the form of these microscopic double helixes. Inside these caves, mysterious civilizations buried their dead sitting up, adorned with animal horns and homemade beads. Before DNA testing was an option, scientists based their assumptions about the origins of that culture on the sophisticated weapons and arrowheads that were also found in the caves, leading them to believe that the people who lived there might have been part of a surprisingly advanced set of Europeans that migrated to North Africa, much earlier than this exposure had previously been thought to have happened because some European Stone Age cultures had developed similar weapons during this same time frame. Although of mysterious origin, there was no doubt that this Stone Age civilization was highly advanced and had developed microlith blades that were more deadly and efficient than the primitive stones that other nearby people were using. For lack of more information, historians and archaeologists called these people the Iberia Marusians, hypothesizing that they must have been related to the people on the Iberian Peninsula, and that these people had migrated across North Africa and spread across the areas of Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia and the Mediterranean Sea. However, recently, scientists were able to gather samples of DNA from some samples of inner ear bones that were recovered and sequenced the ancestry of the people buried there, and what they found surprised them. The DNA results were published in a report that revealed that the people of the Gros de Pigeon had no genetic link to southern Europe and were instead closely linked 
to the Natufian culture that would later appear in the Middle East. The Natufians and the Ibero-Mirusians likely shared common ancestors through migration from North Africa and the Middle East, with about one-third of their DNA matching those of sub-Saharan Africans, meaning that the mysterious and advanced cave people of Morocco had indeed highly likely developed these technologies without influence from the rest of the world. This discovery has allowed historians and archaeologists to better understand the migration of peoples and cultures within Africa. Before the Ibero-Mauritian DNA was sequenced, there had been no viable DNA uncovered from before the introduction of agriculture, and we were forced to simply make our best guesses about how people mixed and travelled. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.